Hi there. Welcome to Book Summary. Today we will summarize the book, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr is a captivating and emotionally charged novel that weaves together the lives of two young individuals, Marie-Laure Leblanc and Werner Fennig, amidst the backdrop of World War II. The novel is set against the tumultuous historical backdrop of the Second World War, primarily in the cities of St. Malo, France, and Zollverein, Germany. The story beautifully oscillates between the narratives of Marie Lore, a blind French girl, and Werner, a German soldier with a gift for electronics. Marie Lore's life takes a tragic turn when she loses her sight at the age of six. Her father, Daniel Lablanc, a locksmith at the Museum of Natural History in Paris, becomes her guiding light. He crafts intricate models of their neighborhood to help her navigate the world through her sense of touch. When the war threatens Paris, they flee to the coastal town of St. Malo, taking with them a precious jewel from the museum, the Sea of Flames, sought by the Nazis. Meanwhile, Werner grows up in an orphanage in Zollverein, Germany, with his sister Judda. He discovers a knack for repairing radios and has a deep fascination with science. This talent leads him to a prestigious Nazi school, Schulpferta, where his skills are harnessed for the war effort. Werner's moral conflict about serving a regime, he doesn't believe in sets the stage for his eventual intersection with Marie Lore. As the war intensifies, Marie Lore's father becomes involved in the resistance and helps transmit critical information via radios. Simultaneously, Werner, now a soldier, becomes part of an army unit tracking illegal radio broadcasts. It's during this mission that he hears the voice of Marie Lore. Who is broadcasting resistance messages? The novel masterfully illustrates the power of radio waves and the light we cannot see, the invisible threads that connect people across vast distances. This concept serves as a powerful metaphor for the characters, interconnected fates, as well as the broader themes of human connection and the impact of war on individuals. Marie Lore's life in St. Malo becomes increasingly difficult as the war rages on. She and her great-uncle Etienne hide in the walled city, struggling to survive. The Sea of Flames, the priceless jewel she carries, becomes a symbol of hope and defiance in a world torn apart by conflict. Werner, on the other hand, grapples with his conscience and the realization that the technology he helped develop is being used for devastating purposes. His path eventually leads him to St. Malo, where he encounters Marie Lore. Their meeting is brief, but it leaves a lasting impact on both of them, highlighting the human connections that transcend the chaos of war. Throughout the novel, Anthony Doerr's prose is nothing short of exquisite. He paints vivid and sensory-rich descriptions of the character's experiences from the tactile. World Marie Lore navigates as a blind girl to the hauntingly beautiful, Yet war-torn landscape of St. Malo, Dor's storytelling prowess allows readers to fully immerse themselves in the characters' lives, emotions, and the historical period. The novel also explores the lives of secondary characters, adding depth and richness to the narrative. Werner's friend Frederick, who shares his moral dilemmas, and Etienne, Marie Lore's reclusive great uncle haunted by his past, are just two examples of well-crafted supporting characters. Dor's narrative is not limited to the human perspective. He also weaves in the stories of animals, particularly a white seabird named the Fourth Ward. These interspersed tales of nature serve as a poignant contrast to the chaos of war and highlight the enduring beauty of the natural world. The overarching themes of the novel are both universal and deeply personal. At its core, all the light we cannot see is a story of resilience, survival, and the enduring human spirit. It explores the complexities of morality during times of conflict and the impact of choices made under duress. It's a testament to the enduring power of hope, love, and the bonds that connect people, even when the world around them is crumbling. The novel also delves into the idea of fate or destiny. It suggests that some events are beyond our control. Governed by the light we cannot see, 
the forces that guide our lives in unexpected ways. Marie Lohr and Werner's paths converge not by choice but by the twists of fate, illustrating the unpredictable nature of life. Dor skillfully employs non-linear storytelling, shifting between past and present, and alternating between Marie Lohr's and Werner's perspectives. This narrative structure adds depth to the characters and keeps readers engaged as their stories unfold. The novel's chapters are concise, often just a few pages long, making it easy to consume in bite-sized portions. This approach enhances the pacing, making it difficult to put the book down as the reader is continually drawn deeper into the characters' lives. All the light we cannot see is a literary masterpiece that has garnered widespread critical acclaim and won numerous awards, including the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. It's a testament to the enduring power of literature to illuminate the human experience, even in the darkest of times. In conclusion, Anthony Doerr's All the Light We Cannot See is a beautifully written and emotionally resonant novel that explores the lives of two individuals caught in the maelstrom off World War II. Through exquisite prose and compelling characters, it delves into the themes of human connection, resilience, and the impact of war on the human spirit. It is a story of hope, love, and the enduring power of the light we cannot see that guides our lives, even in the face of adversity. Finally, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave a link to the book in the description below. Please share your thoughts in the comments and please consider subscribing. Thank you.